Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and we're in our permadeath story mode, and I bet you're probably wondering to yourself, wait a second, he said he wasn't going to be doing an episode this week. Well, you know, I was feeling a lot better, and I had one opportunity to do one more episode this week, so uh, yeah, my voice isn't 100%, but I'm almost there. I will be muting my microphone off and on to... Uh, uh, clear my throat once in a while, but you'll have to just deal with the uh, a little bit of a lower tone today. Um, dealing more of what I call the Barry White effect. So, it is what it is, but I am pretty much over it. It is um, late in the day, very late in the day on Tuesday. And uh, let me see, I came down with COVID on Saturday morning. as I, I, I had that 100, almost 102 temperature uh, between Saturday and Sunday. And by Monday, everything was gone. And uh, now I'm just dealing with the after effects, um, you know, congestion, things like that. But I'm telling you, keep moving around like this guy does. That's all I've been doing is moving around and keeping myself moving and doing things. So let's figure out where we're going to be picking up from. So we're going to get back to our log here. Uh, looks like we have the scientific research. Let's pick back up with the scientist and see what's going on with him and what he wants us to do. I do not think my child experiment is working. They have not assuaged my loneliness, and now I have two consciousness to fear for. I am losing myself, Traveler. Take my core to a monolith. Let, my, let me interface before the Atlas. I must speak to enter eternity. The Corvex has no memories of my last journey with their core. Then, I tried to reconnect them with their convergence. This time, they seek the Atlas. I do not know if the monolith grants such an interface, but, or if anything does. I'm going to accept it, though or removed. All right, and again, my voice will be a little bit lower. If you have trouble hearing it, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you don't mind. All right, here's the ship. And no, in case some of you are sitting there wondering to yourself, Paul, you're pushing it. No, don't worry, I'm not pushing it. This is a piece of cake. I'm actually doing very, very good. Um, I, my temperature has been remaining around 99 degrees the whole time. Maybe just a touch below. And uh, I really am feeling significantly better. Though my whole household is pretty much everybody has come down with it in my house at this point. That's not it. Okay. We've probably been to this monolith before. Oh, that must be it right there. Yes, that would be a, a monolith. All right, there we go. So no, don't worry, I'm not pushing myself. And we will be doing the anomaly video on Friday, I promise. All right, here we are. You know, while we're here, have we uh, already hit these? No, we haven't. Pick up some words while we're here, always a smart thing to do. Of course, we'll probably get some kind of a uh, update saying, hey, you've learned words, or something like that. And yeah, that's always great. The more words you learn about a language, the more you can figure out later on, so. Okay, here we go. Bunch of numbers. Obviously binary. I approach the monolith. I prepare to insert the Corvax core within the, da the dais. Dais? Dais? The structure looks as if it was made for such a moment. Insert the core. Error. Error. Atlas. Obey. Error. Atlas. Error. Error. Run. Error. Run. Error. Error. Sounds like my old uh, Commodore 64 back in the day. Life form identified. Corvax echo. Purpose. Servant of Traveler. Analysis. Verisimil... It always gets me on this one. Veris, verisimilitude. Verisimilitude. Failure. Emotional breakdown. Traveler infection. Solution. Terminate. Insulate. Insulate. Protect. Wipe. Rebooting. One, two, three. Monolith is offline. That's fascinating, huh? So the monolith is offline. I never had a monolith go offline before. All right, let's jump on our ship and head back. Let's see what's next. I exited my ship rather than taking off. I hate when I do that. My throat has taken this exact moment to decide it had to clear itself. Off we go. It only takes about 20 seconds, so... Yeah, see? 20? That was right. 
as usual. I think I have the audio turned up just a little bit more than usual on the game itself, but at least you're getting some of the game audio more than usual this time. And hopefully you can hear me over the game audio, right? Uh, where's the landing pad? There it is. Doesn't always end up on the landing pad, but especially when you transfer her, transfer here by uh, teleporter. All right, in we go. All right. Scientist sent to T Taffy's shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. I fear for what has happened to their data core. We reinsert. Shell reconnection. Carapace online. Ew, greetings, unknown entity. I passed my test. Sharing this joy via the exchange of technology. Here we go again. We got a circuit board uh, formula out of it. That's great. How do you feel about structural analysis, stranger? The scientist has once again been reset. But without a connection to the convergence, I fear they are doomed to repeat this cycle forever. From the moment they met me in the space station until their collapse into loneliness. Perhaps if I could find them a convergence cube, they might be unified with the rest of the Corvax and escape. We'll do that. The scientists deserves this chance at reconnection. They have helped me greatly, and they have taken good care of their beacon. Yes, of course, because they've taken care of their good beacon. Their, their beacon, that's the reason why we're doing this. Alright, let's go get one. <clears throat> so that's our next, uh, next step here. Off we go. Hi, guys. So how far is this one? Less than 15 seconds. Okay, good. So we'll have to get into this facility and take a uh, Corvax uh, convergence cube. It's approximate location, so we've got to keep our eyes peeled. Definitely not there, but don't destroy that. That's Those little uh, pods there, trust me, you'll be coming back to them at another point. You destroy them now, you'll be wrecking your entire ability to uh, complete your missions. It's a real pain in the neck to try to fix it later on. Uh, probably gonna be there. Let's go there. At the very least, this place should have... Unless it's abandoned. There it is. A landing pad. And it's a good place to start our search from, regardless. Might be over there on the right. But we'll find out. Oh, it is that way. Okay. That's alright. At least we got a landing pad, so we'll head over this way and take a look. Uh, having a better jetpack is better. More upgrades to it, anyway. Uh, we'll use some of our dioxide there. We'll save our um, batteries for other types of protection later on. Okay. Oh, it might be the facility right there. We should be able to call it in. Ooh, do we need oxygen? How are we doing on oxygen? Eh, we got 400. Really don't need a whole lot more of that. Because I saw the oxygen patch over there on our left, and it's uh, not really needed, so I'm not going to harvest any at this time. There we go. Up this slope. Oh, that's a tough one. And well, as soon as we get up there, if there's a landing pad that's active over there, we'll go ahead and pull on our uh, ship. Yep, this is a good one. Okay, so there's a door, but let's pull our ship in, shall we? Ah, yeah, we definitely want to call on our ship because this is a protected facility. We're going to have to break our way in. Let's grab things while we're here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Viking Effigy is exactly what we're looking for. That gives us a save point as well. Alright, so what do we got? We got a bolt caster. We should be able to f blow our way in, but this guy's going to attack us as soon as we do. Looks like we've been here before. That's the funny part. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? It looks like it put the door back in place for us. There we go. And we're in. We'll reload. I'm not worried about restoring my shield. 
I'm guessing, yeah, looks like we probably took everything from here last time, so... We'll let them all calm down. I don't really need to do upgrade anything at this point. Hey, buddy. I'll leave you alone. Let's see what we got. As I approach the terminal, I sense an immense sadness and grief. I hear the echoes of a thousand souls, entities whose life was stolen from them long ago. Non-convergent user registered. On the display, I see the production line of this factory, a vast array of cubes and views with the memories of an entire species. They appear to be caught within an endless cycle of trauma, unable to do anything but repeat their tragedy. The terminal identifies these items as convergence cubes. Um, should we upload memories, cease production, or attempt to take a cube? Let's upload memories. I'm curious, because I, I think we've done this in the past, but I'm very curious. We can always go back, right? I attempt to upload my memories. The convergence immediately senses my, the presence of a foreign mind. It cries out, thanking me for my openness and compassion. I am rewarded. And guess what I get? A convergence cube plus one, times one. So now I can return to the scientist. And the guys have calmed down, haven't they? Sorry, buddy. See? Nothing to see here. Move along. I'm going to head back now. Boy, these little ships are so cool. So, we'll bring in the Convergence Cube, and it should just about end all of our things to do with the scientist, and we'll work on the weapons dude in a little bit. I think he's going to be a tough one, because the final battle in the end is going to be really tough. Especially in permadeath mode. I do intend to start another new series that's going to be a no starter ship challenge, and I'm going to continue to do no starter ship challenges in the future, so... We'll see how that goes. Anyway, here we are. Scientist entity Tara Tavi. A strange air feels something unusual is occurring. Is this facility shielded in some way so that signals are unable to escape? Scientist entity Tavi is once again becoming aware of their isolation. The convergence cube may be their only hope. So we're going to connect the convergence cube. I insert the cube. The Corvax is temporarily startled, but soon their lights begin to flash in a familiar pattern. I cannot be sure, but the plan appears to have worked. Forgive me for asking, Entity, but did I know you once? You seem familiar. These terminals, they are of my design. One machine even called me its parent, attempting to convince me of its love. Ew, I deleted the bug, of course. I run a proper code base. I did harvest some useful blueprints from its store, however. Would you care for them? Whatever relationship we had developed was go has gone, replaced only by this cloud of unknowing. Perhaps it was an error. Perhaps this being was the true self of the Corvax all along, and the one I knew was just a sickness, a distortion. I cannot know. We can accept the blueprints. Take care when constructing those objects, Traveler. The plans were created by an error after all. Okay, we've got the heat capacitor and liquid explosive. Very interesting. Anything else? I guess we're done. Let me check. Yep, we're done with the scientist, so that completes him out. We're on to the weapons research. Let's go ahead and hunt and destroy pirates, shall we? So that's going to be our next set setup on here. So, thank you very much, Scientist Entity Tavi. We're going to move on. Let's go hunt our pirates down, shall we? Proceed to space. Okay. <clears throat> Let's check our inventory on our ship. Okay. Everything looks all right. That's our launch. I'm going to hold off on doing anything with that. All right, we should be in good shape. Let's go ahead and launch and get out of here and go check out our pirates. Okay, I think we're all set. I think we found them. Whoa, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to change diverting power to weapons. You'll find that the weapons are a lot more powerful this way. And you can finish off these guys a lot quicker. Now, your shields are going to be weaker. And so is your engines. But literally, if you're fighting a dogfight, you don't really care whether your shields are weaker. I mean, are your engines are weaker or not. But now I'll divert power back to my engines and we're back to normal. So we're going to return to the armor. That poor planet. That's going to be right there. 
Now, we did get some goodies out of it, so while we're coming in, let's just check it out real quick. It didn't look like we got anything here, but we might have acquired, say, Pugnium or, or Nanites or something like that, so that's always a good thing. Okay. All right, let's see what the armor has to say. Now, usually what happens here is we're going to go after any strays, or at least that's what he's going to tell us to do. We have any Viking daggers yet? Daggers. Daggers yet? No, we do not. We're going to have to acquire a pair. I do know where to get some, but it'd be better if we can come across them sooner rather than later. Okay. Is it done, interloper? Have you purged these vile beings from our air? Confirm. Gra, well fought, interloper. To be young, to kill again. Gra, how I envy you. Interloper. There is both good news and bad good and bad news. Some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath, but this merely delays their righteous extermination. Hunt them down, interrogate them for potential weapons technology, and then consign them to the Great Abyss. Gra. Scout Redwin is clearly possessed by the thrill of the hunt, but this energy cannot disguise the fact they appear to be weakening. Has residing here in my base caused them to become ill? The armorer wishes for me to find one of the escaped pirates and take any technology they might possess, except this is your prize, Interloper. Weapons technology and a pirate to do with as you will. Bra, Make our ancestors proud. <clears throat> okay. So. Hey, while we're here. Go ahead and fill the furnace just a little bit. How about a little bit of oxygen, shall we? There we go. Alright, so we need to go that way. Off we go, and we're going to hunt down our pirate who got away. Now, like I said, I'm feeling much, much better. If you feel about wanting to make any pithy comments regarding my condition, you go right ahead. I deserve it, I'm sure. Now, it should be a minor trading settlement establishment. That looks like it could be it, but for some reason it's not coming into play. Yeah, I love when it does that. This is probably it. Now remember there was a spot that had two of these nearby, so hopefully this is the right one. There we go. There we go. Life support shell is always nice. Sometimes we get a microprocessor out of it. Or just... We're being attacked by pirates. Go figure. Let's talk to a... Hey, get back here. Alright, well, he's outside. That's going to cause us problems. I gotta look. Hmm, supercharged slot. Hmm. Mining green upgrade. Eh, that's not really, not really worth my time. Do we have anything we need to sell while we're here? I don't think we do. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside and fight the pirates. Give me a break. Alright. Ah, here we go. There we go. Try to fly after them real close if you can, because usually what happens is, is you'll pick up any stuff that drops out of their uh, bay. Jettison cargo and stuff like that, like that. There we are, see? Got another piece of suspicious cargo. That should be all of them. All right, good. All right, now as we come in for a landing, we're going to check to see what we got. Ah, uh, repair kit. Those are handy. And superconducting wire worth 50,000. Nice. And we got a suspicious scanning module. Let's go ahead and put that in here and see what it gets us. Ah, boosted our scanning range quite a bit. 
flora and fauna analysis is increased. That's very good. Actually, I think I'm glad with that. All right, let's move this over into our exosuit. Uh, we're going to keep that because that'll come in handy down the road. None of this I want to sell, so I'm going to hang on to that stuff. So this we can get rid of, this we can get rid of, and this we can get rid of. So we can get rid of these three things. So let's go ahead and sell them inside. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, it is a minor trading establishment after all. We'll talk to that guy in a second once we sell everything. Don't you go anywhere, buddy. Uh, let's see. There's the Gek. There's the Viking. And the Superconductor. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a cut on that. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. We get a lot more money for him. We got plenty of money. It's not like we don't need it. All right, let's talk to you. Raiding Entity. Odd. Oh, life form savior. Corvax was their slave. Corvax forced to operate pirate frequencies, but no more. Corvax hopes life form believes their virtue. Gift of technology in exchange for silence. If life form attempts to report Corvax to authorities, Corvax will take lethal, count lethal countermeasures. So they're going to give me their advanced survival data. And they think they're innocent and they were forced into a life of piracy. But if we say something, they're going to take it out on us. Threat against my life does little support their claim of innocence, but I have what I came for. Okay. I take the advanced survival blueprints and leave. There's nothing more for me here. Okay. We're going to return to the armor. Uh, let's grab some nanites. Um, these encrypted data cubes. They give me that. Journey milestone? What? Destroyed 10 starships. Okay. Okay, we got two navigation data. All right. We don't need a whole lot more of that anymore. Okay, there we go. Sodium. And... That was it. Okay. Got a... Thing down there. Let's see if we can pick it up. Yes, we can. I'll get what's in here. Hey, why don't you clear this place out while we're at it? You know what I'm saying? Take your take your time to do that. All right, nothing over here but that. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade that. All right, we're out of here. Back to our armor. Now, what we really would like to find is a landing platform, if we could. That's where we're going to find Viking daggers. Uh, daggers. Daggers. Don't ask me why I keep saying it that way. I have no clue. Landing platform, you'll find guys landing there, especially in a Viking system like we're in. And uh, is this a Viking system? I don't remember. No, it is a Corvax system. My bad. But any Viking pilots that land will have uh, da daggers on them usually, and you can buy them from them. You'll need two of them. For later, we all know this. Anyone who's played the game through, at least the storyline. Would have liked to have made a base at a minor trading settlement like that. They're a lot easier to have a base at, but we're here. It is what it is. Okay. Scout Redouin. It is done then. Have you made them suffer? The armor begins to cough. They do not appear to be in good health, but we're going to confirm. I shall decrypt their data, interloper. May I bring you glory, but I, I have another task for you. It is almost the end. Okay, so there's our starship battery that we can get now. That's good for charging up your shields. There is structure on this world, a depot of little consequence, but... To the Sentinels? Gra, they will defend it to their last drone. Attack it, draw the ire of the Sentinels, then our hunt can begin. While you are away, I shall create a powerful upgrade so that your weapon is fit for our great war. Scott Redwin appears to have declined even further. This longing for the hunt seems to be the only thing keeping them alive. But if Akeen asks that I destroy a depot so that the Sentinels will seek us out, they promise to work on some sort of weapon upgrade while I'm away. We'll accept, of course. Go, I will prepare your weapon, interloper. You can... you can rely on my work. Okie dokie. If he says so. So, remember I told you not to destroy that one little depot we saw? Well, now you know why. Because if you had destroyed it, it would have directed you there, and you would have found it destroyed, and you wouldn't have been able to complete this mission. 
and then you would have had to find simply another one, which would have been a real pain in the butt. Now, if you destroy it from the air, the sentinels will attack you from the air. If you destroy it from the ground, you can sometimes escape them. So my suggestion is land and take it out. You've got a weapon, use it. <clears throat> Just park your ship far away and you'll have to run to catch up to it at some point. But these guys are going to be uh, coming after you. So just keep that in mind, alright? Alright. Here we go. Here's the fun. Let's see if we can survive this, right? Keep moving. That's all I can say. You have to destroy the whole depot. Ah, oh, we're done. Okay. And try to get away. Because you're not in any condition in permadeath mode to stay around and fight all these guys. Gonna have to do it for about 30 seconds, so... Remember, watch your running juice. Alternate. Fortunately, I seem to have a good uh, recharge rate on my running. So. Okay, another 20 seconds, and I think that's the smart way to go rather than trying to uh, gather the ire on these guys. See, they're all the way over there still, but... They will try to search you out. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Deactivated. I'm actually going to go ahead and get all this here. Because I know it's useful. There we go. Alright, let's head back to our ship. And they should not be attacking me anymore. Alright, off we go. Uh, let's see, back behind us. Alright, so that was the smarter way to go ahead and take care of these things. Alright. There it is. There we go. Let's see what he has to say now. I have detected them. Their eye is upon us. You have done it, haven't you? Your actions have summoned them. Confirm. I am sorry, Interloper. I will not be able to assist you in your fight. I am too weak. Take this upgrade module and prepare for their arrival. Plasma launcher? No way. <laughs> not in permadeath mode. They approach... But before the final fight, I have another task for you. I need to be strong to serve you. There is a substance, an offering freely given by the young to, the, uh, to their elders, that may yet restore me. I myself spent years enmeshed within the harvest circuits, my organs sacrificing their enzymes for the fleet. I was glad to do so, but we need not repeat such torment today. Enzyme, enzyme remnants found on Viking daggers should be enough to heal me now. Whatever sacrifice Scout Radouin made for others, they do not appear to have reaped the same benefits in their old age. Viking's body is scarred, their speech labored. I cannot imagine they will survive another year. The armor requires Viking daggers to prevent their further decline. I will accept it. He appears relieved. They say nothing, but there is a look of hope behind their tired eyes. Yeah, we're not going to be putting that plasma launcher in because uh, they have an area of effect damage that can also affect the person shooting. So... What we need to find is we need to find ourselves a landing platform. Um, so what I'm going to attempt to do... Is see if I can find one. So the fun part is, is that... There's a couple different ways to do it. What we really would like to find is a beacon. They'll be small with a tall pole in the center. 
transmission beacon. That is not one of them. Let's go over here. And we're going to keep scanning until we can find one. So this is kind of a pain in the neck to do. But trust me, if you can find yourself a landing platform, that'll be best. And the beacon will help you find it if you're not finding it this way, just by searching. That looks like a beacon. I think. It is. So this should find, not a minor trading post, they usually they sometimes find those, but it's probably better if it would find a major trading platform. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Any time now. Eh, it's a minor settlement, go figure. It's not what I'm looking for. For once it finds me a minor settlement, something I was not looking for, but you know, it is what it is. Try to fly in the direction that these guys are going. That might lead us where we need to go. And the landing platforms, the large ones, will usually show up on your radar early. Hopefully we get lucky here, because it's the best place to get Viking da daggers. You can go to the space station and find um, daggers there sometimes as a reward. That's another way to get them. And we may end up resorting to that, because I am not finding what I'm looking for today, and I have not been fortunate enough to get this particular thing to show up. So... I think that's what we're going to end up having to do here. Archives would work. Archives will not show up in a scan, but you could run across an archive on your own. Alright, I guess Space Station is the way to go here. We'll do one more scan. And we got nothing. Alright. Up we go. Now, at the space station, we can also look for... Um, we can get some maps. And one of the maps is for economic locations, which include landing platforms. So, if worse comes to worse, we can go there. Let's see if we can find anything here to see if it's worth our while. It's just that I don't expect the missions here, because it's a Corvax system, to carry Viking, da Viking daggers. Let's see what we got here. This is the guy at the missions, I think. Yeah. Yeah, see? Extra suit upgrade charts, repair kits, multi-tool expansion slots. Nothing that's going to help me. So, let's see what we can do here. Uh, specific charts. So we want, not secrets, not emergency, which would give us crash ships. Commercial. Yeah, definitely not alien or specialist. Or encrypted. We're going to go with this one, the planetary charts, which are commercial. Let's get about three of them. And that should do it. Now you have to have navigation data to get one. So 
let's go ahead and head down. So what we're going to do is once we exit the station, we're going to go ahead and use one. There we go. Trading post. That's what we wanted. On a different planet, really? Alright. That's alright with me. It's only going to take us 20 seconds to get there. Atlas broadcast. Hello there, messenger of the Atlas. Okay. Uh, no idea what it just said. We'll accept it, though. No? Just wondering. That was really, really weird. Couldn't even begin to tell you how that worked. It does mean something. It's part of the new storyline, but I'm not even sure what it pretends to tell us. Pretends to tell us? I'll have to check that out later on. Especially when we get the Atlas missions done. Atlas, Atlas missions done. Can't talk. Alright. Some reason it wasn't registering that I wanted to land. All right. Now all we need to do is wait. And I'm hoping that we get a Viking land. I think mostly it's going to be Corvax people landing, but yeah, Corvax. Corvax. Okay, I don't think we're going to find what we're looking for here. Alright. So what we need to do is we need to exit the system, go to a Viking system to get what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and do that. I wondered about that, whether that was going to be possible or not. So we will jet out to a system that we've been to before. Okay. So we've been there. That's a Viking system. That's the one right there. It's a dissonant system, but it's a Viking system, so that's important. It's not a pirate system either, so that'll be good. So go there, we'll get our daggers, and we'll leave. Again, the best place to get the daggers, we can get them in the space station if we want to try there, or we can go to a landing platform and get it there. Oh, you got to be joking with me here. Why am I going at this guy? I attacked the guy right, right in front of me. Let's see if I can survive this, shall we? One down. Oh. That's the guy right there. Get over here. Two down. Three down. There's another one. Ready to go. I want to recharge my shield here soon. Glad I charged it. Trying not to shoot you, but stop flying in front of me. Another one down. How many we got? There's another guy right here. Why are they... I wonder why it keeps doing that. It keeps directing me to the wrong one. Okay. Who's next? He's gone. One more. Really? Go 
gone. But what got damaged? You did. Well, fortunately we have the materials to repair it. Nothing else got damaged, right? So guess what we have the opportunity to do? We have the opportunity to get ourselves a freighter. You, huh? Uh, let's see. Halfway yeah, decent looking ship. Tiny. Guaranteed not S class. Matter of fact, I doubt it's even an A class, but hey, we'll get some rewards out of this. Let's go ahead and get something out of it. Maybe we'll find some daggers on board. Who knows? Let's take a look. Yeah, C class. Not really worth my time. I'm not even going to bother. So we'll just get the reward and get out of here. Uh, he's going to be up the orange. There it is. Gra and a few extra words I know. Alien barks a loud battle cry as I approach, celebrating our victory. I hope they gesture towards the control panel of their freighter as I suggest, as if to suggest I take command of the freighter. Nope. Request payment. Thank you. So we get standing increased. We'll get some nanites out of it. We should get some gold and that's it. Now, the good news is, we got all these pilots landing. Ooh, that's a pretty sharp-looking ship right there, man. Skylark, huh? Let's see what this guy's got. Maybe we can get what we're looking for. There we go. We need two. Excellent. So that worked out nicely. So we didn't need to go anywhere else. We got a cargo bulkhead out of it, too. Hyperdrive module. We'll go ahead and grab it. Where does that go? I'm giving you some more, but 217 light year boost. That's pretty good. That gave us another storm crystal. And that gave us a suspicious movement module. 136. Not as good, so we'll just un uninstall it and get some materials out of it. Looks like we got some stuff out of that. What is that? Gerox we can sell. That's right, we got a lot of this stuff from... Um, Hmm, that's actually worth something, too. So we'll sell this. This can go in our ship. These we need for what's-his-name. Let's look at the starship real quick. I got a bunch of gold out of it. I'm going to hang on to the gold only because it comes in handy later on. So, all right, I think we're good. Oh, is that what I think it was? Yeah, look at that. We don't need that. Should have sold that a while ago, too. All right, good. Let's get out of here. Excellent. You know, I forgot. What's up, man? We can trade. And sell that crap that we have on us. Uh, let's get rid of the platinum. Uh, there we go. The aronium. Aerox. Uh, the Viking dagger. No, damn it. I needed that. Sorry, my bad. Shouldn't have done that. Corvax. Bye. And we'll grab two. That was stupid. All right, so we got it. So we got everything we need. Um, we're going to hang on to this for whatever we get later on down the road. So, boy, that was stupid. And I'm sorry, I actually slipped. I was very pissed at myself for doing that. Family friendly. My apologies. All right, here we go. All right, so we're done. So now we can just go back to our base. Best way to go is we can go... Uh, the other way, if we wish. But it'd be better if we just go to the space station and jump through a portal. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and save our Viking Master Armorer, if you will, and then we're going to go ahead and probably draw this episode to a close. There we go. Off we go.
Anytime now. And there we go. There he is. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Yeah, I know I discovered this. Thank you. I am afraid, Interloper. I feel my end approaching, but I am not strong enough. I know I should have faith, but I... The nightmares, Interloper. The things I have seen. The crimson eye behind my eyes. The wound upon this world. Viking grows silent. They appear troubled. Reassure them. Ra, you are worthy, Interloper, I will admit. Um, do I not have his daggers? Yes. Oh, I know what's going on. See, it wants us to install the plasma launcher. Give it a moment. There we go. Not been idle in your absence, Interloper. I've crafted another upgrade module for your ship, but the daggers... I can smell the battle enzyme from across the room. Give them to me. The Viking takes the dagger and plunges it into their own arm. They immediately revive. Their spirits res restored. And we got a phase beam. Useless weapon in the universe. Now we are ready, Interloper. The Sentinels are here, and you shall head out to meet them. This day shall be glorious, Traveler, as it has been before and shall be again. The Viking looks at me with pride. I seem to have provided them with renewed purpose. Of this I am glad. By placing my world under threat, getting me to summon so many innocent sentinels to, for pointless battle. When I'm back, I will need to speak to the armor about the future. The armor warns me that multiple sentinel forces have arrived near our home. I must defeat them. Gra, 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 gra. Yeah, you jerk. Cyclotron Ballista. Oh, okay. Positron Ejector. He gave us all of them, including the Infra Knife Accelerator, which I like the most. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I think we're set. We'll have to be very careful here. No, oh, they're all over here. Okay. No, I could keep moving around. Trust me. Once we get one of those other guys on here, one of the quads, we'll be moving a lot more, trust me. Who's behind me? The only good thing we get out of this is all this crap. So we, I don't know how many stages we have to go through for it to give up on us. Do we have anything else? Oh, yeah, we got... I don't know who he is. Yeah, let's go over here. Oh, there he is. That's who I was looking for. Want reinforcements. Okay, we've got a little running guy down there. We're going to have to get him sooner or later, so. that they can
they can do that to themselves anymore. That they can go... What's the word I'm looking for? They can camouflage themselves. Because I'm going to get killed by this guy unless I can take him out. Ah, stuck. Got him. Leave area or hide before reinforcements arrive. Well, where's the door for this place? Yeah, I'm not taking on a sentinel walker today. We can get inside. Ah, door. Hi there. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Now, if we're fortunate, nothing will attack us in here. So let me just take a quick peek around. I want to make sure I didn't leave any supplies behind because we are definitely not taking on another round of these guys. Not in my current state. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, just got 15 seconds and then we're done. So what do we get out of that? Got one halfway decent upgrade out of it. Weapon shard. Hmm. Got our damage potential up to 3,700. That's not bad. Pretty good. And gave us some stuff to sell. Got one of these. That's good. Alright. They've disabled. We can head back. Alright. Alright. Well, that's good. We've completed it. And we'll finish this out. You survived where Herc fell, Traveler. Forgive me, I was wrong. My whole life I was wrong. It is not the dead that deserve our service, it is the living. It is you, Traveler. It is you and you alone. Viking promises not to cause any more trouble for the base. Apologizing profusely, tell me that the living deserve service more than the dead. That I especially am worthy of their aid. The armor rewards me with a token of my great victory. Accept the reward. It has been an honor to serve you, Traveler. Go on in glory. Not bad, Scope. Nice. Grah, Traveler. I've been inspired by your actions to craft a multi-tool of great power. Would it please you to examine him? Sure. Buy a piece of crap. Oh, Traveler. Yeah, it's much... Got much more space, but I have to repair the heck out of it in order to get this to work at all. Ricochet modules. It's got at least a, a supercharged slot on it. Two slots, actually, but... Nah... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and accept it for free, but I'm not going to do anything with it. All right. So that should take care of the armorer. And let me see. We can install the combat scope if we wish, but I'm going to unpin the formula. We'll do that another time. We need to expand the base, and that's going to be our next thing that we're going to do because we'll have to talk to our base overseer. And that's going to bring up new upgrades new opportunities to add things to our base here so we'll pick that up where we left off and you cannot even see my face in here let's face this ah, ha, ha, ha. a little bit of an eerie glow there now isn't it anyway i want to thank you all for watching and dealing with my covid voice so if you have any uh, comments feel free to make them below and uh, i guess we'll see you guys on friday night with the anomaly video thank you very much for watching and as always Take care, everybody, and keep safe. Keep safe. Yeah, keep safe and keep healthy too while you're at it. Really appreciate all your uh, everything you folks have done for me and all the nice comments you all have made. I really appreciate it. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.